to you lady and tramp style with the side of spaghetti <laughs> so <laughs> I'm actually really excited because today I will be doing a Q&A on my lovely Laylux. <laughs> I decided to do this video because I get a lot of the same repeat questions, especially since I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. So shout out to you guys as well as my own subscribers, okay? Hi, how are ya? <laughs> so I really just wanted to have a video and just kind of give all the facts and tea about my hair. So, yes, think of this video as a nutritional facts label from your favorite food, okay? <laughs> so, y'all ready for your daily dose of animal eating? <laughs> so, number one <laughs> is how long have I been freeforming? So, it is currently April 2020, and in about a few months, so fall of 2020 around august i believe will be my fourth year free for me <laughs> as you guys can see my free form journey has been treating me well <laughs> so number two is how did you do it <laughs> i don't know why i'm talking in this voice today but how I started free for me is I started from a afro. So I had a curly fro. It was about medium size. I had been growing my hair out for at least two years prior. And I just stopped combing my hair completely. All I would do, all I would do was pretty much just wash it and oil it. And that was literally it, okay? So no back combing, okay? No palm rolling, no twisting, no nada. Literally, straight free forming, no chaser. <laughs> so that is what I did. And it wasn't even till like almost four years later now that I actually started doing some type of maintenance. Um, you guys can see in a previous video, I did ended up um, combining some of my Congos. I did combine this one with a crochet hook and palm rolling. So that is what this looks like with combining it with a crochet hook. And I did, I also did this one. And I have a few others, but you can kind of, they kind of stick out because all everything else is flat kind of in comparison and i think i did it about four of those but even still my hair is still pretty much reform the roots the roots are flat and thick and yes so number three is how often do i shampoo my hair and i shampoo my hair about every two weeks so it's usually about twice a month number four is what do i prefer to wash my hair with so i alternate between two main things the first one being natural shampoo bars I love washing my hair with shampoo bars <laughs> it's just easier to just really get in there and get a decent lather and really just scrub yes <laughs> so I don't really have a favorite brand I don't go by brands at the moment what I do is I go by ingredients and I love ingredients that really just kind of refresh the hair, kind of stimulate the scalp. And just, I just love that, you know, that kind of tingling, so fresh, so clang feeling. <laughs> so I really love ingredients like um, peppermint, um, tea tree oil, you know, lemongrass, and eucalyptus. But I also like to kind of change shampoo bars every now and then. And I also like to use things that are a little bit more moisturizing. So things that might have coconut or, you know, um, pumpkin. So it really just kind of depends on what I feel like, you know, my hair needs or kind of what I'm in the mood for. And the second thing that I like to use is um, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. I kind of keep it as a backup, you know, if I run out of bar and I haven't had a chance to get another one. I do love it because economically, you know, it's a giant bottle and it ha they tend to last a while because you have to dilute it in water. So I usually prefer the peppermint one and the lavender one. Those are my 
favorite and like I said it's my second because they are okay I find you know when I'm using them you know with distilled water it, that has the best results for me I find that it's easier to kind of spread around and it really gives me you know that refreshing subclimb feeling <laughs> but kind of using it you know in the shower depending on where you live if you have you know that hard water I find it could be an issue with the Castile soap I just find it just doesn't really spread the way I want to it doesn't kind of doesn't even give like a little lather even though you don't need a lot of lather to get your hair clean it's almost like you know I use hard water and I put it in there I don't feel like it is really getting anything clean and it also kind of feels like it leaves a little residue behind so number five is what do I use to deep condition? <laughs> so I don't like to use commercial conditioners because I find that they leave buildup in the length of my locks. So I stay away from those. Instead, I just love to do hot oil treatments. And I like to use kind of a heavier oil. So castor oil is definitely my favorite for hot oil treatment and olive oil. And I love to put just a few drops of, you know, essential oil to make everything smell good. And I love to add a few drops of neem oil. If you don't know what neem oil, definitely look up the benefits from that. It is a naturally occurring pesticide. You know, it works wonders at you know keeping bacteria and things at bay helping your hair you know smell better and everything like that <laughs> all right guys so number six is what is my daily kind of moisture routine so it's pretty much the same as I've been doing I love to take a little bit of the studio water with a couple drops of rosemary and I just love to just kind of just spray that all around my hair I'm actually due to oil my hair so I actually do this on camera but I will spray this all over I'm not gonna get my hair soaking wet but damp enough that it can absorb the oil so it can feel moisturized. Obviously I have thick locks so it might take a few squirts to really get my hair damp. Really just saturating it. Making sure to really get those ends to really concentrate my ends down. Because those are the driest and oldest parts of here. And they are the bleach colored parts. Make sure to get those good edges. <laughs> some oils and just kind of seal in that moisture so sometimes I will kind of create my own concoction of like my favorite kind of moisturizing oils like a hobo oil av avocado oil grapeseed oil and things like that and sometimes I just use things that I already bought like today so I'm using African's best intimate purple oil I do use this from time to time clearly because it's empty <laughs> so I'm gonna take a bit of oil and I'm gonna rub it in between my hands, get it nice and warm. <laughs> and I don't usually kind of start at my roots, but I actually kind of change that. I like to actually start with my ends now. Just kind of just gradually, just slowly kind of just spreading the oils through. Really making sure to concentrate on those roots. And it, if it looks like my hair is dry throughout the video, that's because I actually film this part last. <laughs> Even though it's number six, this was the very last thing I filmed just because I had to go out and get something from the grocery store. And I don't like to be rushed, so I just kind of wait till I came back to finish it. Because oiling my hair to me is really a part of kind of like my self-care ritual. I love to groom myself. I love to just make myself feel good. 
and that's a really important thing if you're someone that has anxiety or suffers from depression it's really important to take the time to really treat yourself even days when you don't feel like getting out of bed even if you're not doing anything or going anywhere it's just going to be you know you by yourself all day still get up okay take a shower okay you know moisturize your hair moisturize your face okay get your sexy on <laughs> even when you don't feel like it because when you start the habit of doing it when you don't feel like it you'll always do it and it'll get you in the habit of getting up because we miss all of the opportunities that we don't take, guys. So you have to get out of bed, okay? You gotta get out of bed. You gotta get out of the house. Well, maybe not so much now. <laughs> maybe not now, but you guys know what I mean. Open yourself up to, you know, different possibilities. So I just really take my time doing this. Really just moisturizing the ceiling, those ends. Alright guys, so after I am done, I just really massaging the oil into the lint, the relax. <laughs> I like to take the oil and I like to go now and massage the roots of my hair all around. I really just give myself just a really uh, nice kind of scalp massage. Ah, this is so needed. <laughs> All the way to the back. Just really just making sure stimulate the roots. Work that oil in there. Ooh, feels so good. <laughs> Last thing I do is make sure I get the very top, my little middle part here. I mean, the part was totally an accident. <laughs> it's not even straight, as you guys can see, but I love it. I do love that my hair falls this way. That's pretty much it. Usually I will go ahead and just kind of wrap my hair up. As I oil my hair, I really love to just wrap it up and just let it kind of soak that moisture up. Kind of like a little impromptu hot little treatment <laughs> in between wash day. And to top it off, I do like to add just a little bit of neem, neem oil. Just a little bit because it does have a strong smell. If you remember my last video. But I do like to add just a little bit ramen and peanut butter. I do like to add a little bit in between wash as well. Kind of mix it in with my other oils. It really helps with the itching. I just kind of apply a little bit of that mostly on the roots. And just a tiny bit on the ends of my locks. I use a, I use a lot more when I'm um, deep conditioning. But I just like to add just a little bit during my weekly routine. Keep us fresh. Keep us smelling good. Yes. And that is pretty much it, guys. Very, very simple. Very, very easy. You don't need a lot of products for your hair. Sometimes you just really have to just experiment, figure out what works for you. And after a while, don't be afraid to switch it up. Show of my hair here 
here's what it looks like. Nice clean oil. I don't have any buildup or anything like that because as I said, I don't use conditioner or anything but it's so heavy that it would give me build up. I also make sure to cover my hair at night so I don't have to worry about getting lint. Is all it is to it. <laughs> so number seven is how often do I clarify and detox my locks? <laughs> and I assume that um, everyone's talking about apple cider vinegar and um, baking soda treatments. So when I first started my journey, I had the intentions of kind of doing it once a year, but after doing it again, you know, for my second time. I decided that I wanted to do it every six months instead of every year. I just think it would be more beneficial for my lifestyle since I am pretty active. First of all, I sweat profusely, just normally. <laughs> so I am a heavy sweater and I do a lot of working out, so there's more sweat. You know, I do do a lot of makeup and sometimes it gets in my hair and just different things like that. So I feel like I want to cleanse my hair. Not to mention our hair holds on to a lot of energy. Just like it holds on to dirt, it holds on to a lot of energy. So if you're going through, you know, a negative time in your life your hair will definitely be holding on to that negative energy which is why a lot of times it's common for people especially women you know after they're going through things they end up you know cutting their hair off you know and starting fresh okay <laughs> you know letting go of the energy but there are ways you know to purge and cleanse your hair of the energy and to start anew <laughs> okay you guys can check out my last video for that and I'll also talk about it more later but yes, I definitely want to just give myself a fresh start every six months. Number eight is, will I ever bleach my roots, my uh, my natural hair color here? And the answer is, yet. <laughs> no, no, probably not. <laughs> and the reason being, even though I love coloring my hair, okay, I love changing out my style and it's myself so 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 much but I just really want to grow out my real hair I feel like coloring my hair although it's a fun hobby is kind of also a self-esteem issue that I kind of started to notice because I started coloring my hair very early I started coloring my hair probably at the end of secondary school, so middle school. So I've been coloring my hair for a long time and it got to the point where I don't even think I would see my normal hair color for longer than maybe a month and that's being generous. You know, it got to the point where it was almost kind of obsessive. Like anytime my roots would start growing out, I'm like, ugh, oh my God, how do you do my roots? My roots are so dusty, okay? Dusty. <laughs> No. <laughs> so I just didn't like kind of like the image that I was giving myself. I didn't like that. Like my roots are like dusty. <laughs> okay. Black is beautiful. <laughs> so at this point in my life, I really just kind of want to see myself. I want to just grow out all my color. I just want to see my natural hair color and just look at it. <laughs> just basket it for, you know, maybe a year or so. <laughs> and maybe after I do, you know, actually grow out all the hair and all the color is gone. And, you know, I have my black hair for a few years or a little while. Maybe I will want to bleach again. 
maybe. <laughs> but even if I do, I don't see myself bleaching my roots. I I can I can definitely see me having you know colored ends. That that I could definitely see. But I don't know. You know, we all change, so you never know. <laughs> I'll never say never because I really don't know. So number nine is what do I sleep in? I actually get this question asked a lot, especially on Instagram, and it is two things actually. Ta -da! <laughs> so number one is my jumbo satin cap. Okay, I'm a little Mario mushroom. <laughs> So this is what I sleep in every night. It helps to keep the moisture in my hair and make sure that my hair is not being damaged from you know constant rubbing while I'm sleeping. And if all else fails, okay, maybe I'm really tired and I forget, okay, on a wild wine night or something, I don't know. <laughs> I also have a satin pillowcase, okay? Rare. <laughs> so I am protected on all moving right along <laughs> we only have two more left guys so number 10 is what do I shower in <laughs> and I actually shower in this little concoction right here it kind of looks like a trash bag but it's actually a shower cap for braids that's what it kind of said um, on the packaging so it's kind of you just kind of put it on kind of stuff your locks in there like that okay and then it has some velcro so you can literally kind of tie it up in a shower so it's not kind of like <laughs> flapping around <laughs> how silly this bag look but yes this is what I like to shower it's actually my favorite thing to shower in because I because just look how big it is so as you know that can fit quite a lot <laughs> and it's also washable I do wash it I'll wash it and kind of let it hang dry so I really do like this one I don't know the name of it but you can just kind of go to your local beauty supply store and just kind of look for it because that's where I found it after the video I'll look for it online and I'll post a link for it if you guys are interested so make sure you check out the description so number 11 and this is actually the most asked question that I received so I just saved it for the end <laughs> I received this question on Instagram here on YouTube on Facebook even in person it never fails <laughs> and this question is how do I get locks like yours? <laughs> and every time I hear this question, it just kind of makes me think of the purpose of freeform locks. You know, the purpose of, you know, freeform locks and letting your hair, you know, do what it wants to do is that da, 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 you will never find. Boom, boom, boom. Because the whole point of free forming and you know these self love journeys and forgiving yourself and, and healing, you know the whole point of it is to you know fall in love with yourself all over again. You know, celebrate yourself, <laughs> okay? You know, and just take pride in that you are unique, okay? Because yes. We are all the same, you know, but we all have our little quirks and our little, <laughs> you know, we have these little things about us that do make us unique, okay? We have different perspectives, we have different stories, okay? And all that collectively is what makes the human race wonderful. <laughs> so I'm not going to go too, deep, too much deep into this. I feel like I talk about this on every 
hair video. <laughs> I am reminding you guys of how beautiful and unique you know you guys are you know how beautiful and unique your freeform locks are okay because you are the only one that have your set of freeform locks and that in itself makes it valuable that is a hot commodity <laughs> so i will keep repeating in every video i will shout it the rooftops <laughs> until you know everyone that watches me or is or is inspired by me truly you know loves and appreciate not only their freeform locks but themselves and even once everyone does do that I am still gonna shout it <laughs> because we all need a constant reminder sometimes don't we <laughs> all right guys that is the end of my Q&A. Ow. <laughs> if I miss anything, let me know. If you have any other questions about my hair, let me know. But I think I am finished. Okay? I is done. <laughs> make sure if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> make sure you guys are staying safe make sure you guys our spirits are continuing being lifted okay you know you can step out the house for a second and you know get some sunshine okay let it recharge you <laughs> okay you can get up and sing and dance and all these things you need to do I don't know why I'm doing this I don't know it's kind of fun <laughs> Okay, but remember to, you know, try to take it easy and do things that you enjoy while still working on yourself, while still learning about yourself, by spreading good energy, the good, good energy, and good vibes. Okay? <laughs> so, until next time.